Hi, when you draw a circuit diagram to represent flow of electricity like this, a static image doesn't really allow your audience to register the direction of movement of the flow. In this video, I'll show you how to create these kind of arrows with continuous motion so you can represent the flow of electricity quite easily. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. This video is based on a query sent by one of our subscribers, Mr. Mukesh Nagpal, who sent this slide and said, I want it to be animated in a way that I can represent the flow of current properly. His objective was when this turns into red, the flow should be represented like this. But the problem he had was he was not able to understand how to represent a continuous movement. With the help of this technique, you would be able to represent the movement quite nicely. As soon as I click, green turns into red and the movement is shown and it is continuous. As you can see, this is nothing but an animated GIF. I'll show you how to create your own custom animated GIF in a matter of seconds in PowerPoint. So you don't just learn how to create these kind of arrows, but also come up with your own improvisations like these. You can have a variation like this, and all of these are based on a very simple technique. Here I have a new presentation and a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to draw a triangle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Basic Shapes, let us pick up the triangle and let us draw a large triangle like so. Now I'm going to introduce this graphic onto the scene with a simple float in animation. So let us go to animations and say float in. And this happens with previous. When I go to slideshow, this is how the animation is. Now we can convert this into an animated GIF. I go to file, export, and then go to create an animated GIF. I'm going to have this large and make background transparent. And that's a very important step. And then you say create GIF and then you store it wherever you want. Say, let us go to uh, desktop and let us call this sample. Now let us go to insert pictures, this device, go to desktop, recall sample and say insert. And now you have a beautiful GIF that shows the continuous movement. Now, if I want to resize this GIF, it's quite easy. All I need to do is to go to crop and then crop from the ends like this. Now I can resize it to any size I want. So let us say I want to draw a circuit like this. And if I want to show the movement, I can take this, hold the shift button down and resize it from the corner like so to whichever size you want. And then you can rotate the direction and the movement is still maintained. So I can rotate it and it shows the movement like so. And if I want to have that shown here, I can rotate it again. And then you can see that the representation is still there and I can go here. If at any point of time you want to change the color of these arrows, you can do so as well. This is nothing but a picture. So select this, go to picture format, go to color and you can choose any color. For example, here we have our green accent color. So I have a green like this. Let me right click and bring it to front. Now we have the green color. Now let us say I want a variation of this and want multiple arrows animating. I can do so quite nicely. Let me go to a new slide. This time I'm going to draw the same triangle. I'm going to have three more triangles added. So let me press Ctrl D and place it over here and then press Ctrl D again and again and let us have these animate. So first this animates, then this, this and this and all of them are going to have the same float in animation and they are all going to happen after previous. So when I go to slideshow, this is how the animation happens and this represents the movement even more beautifully. Let us select everything and then give it a different color, maybe the same gray color that we had earlier and go to shape outline and say no outline. And now let us convert this into a GIF. So let us go to file, export and say create an animated GIF and let us have it large, make background transparent. But this time I just want the second page to be animated because that is where we have created the graphic. Let us say create GIF and we call this sample one. And let us store it exactly in the same desktop. Now I don't really need this graphic anymore so I can delete this. I can insert the GIF instead. So this device, desktop and sample one and insert. 
now i have a beautiful animated gif and it continues to show this movement quite nicely and the same way like we did before you can recolor it resize it and use it the way you want and if you want to learn some more interesting powerpoint animation tricks all you need to do is to click on the link here and start watching the video right now go ahead click on the link and start watching this video right now